Okay. Well, I'd settle down. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. Sorry, my best friend is coming to help me stream. So, I, he was asking if he had to go through the garage to get inside. And I said, no, dude, just, just call me when you get here. Well, it's settled down. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. We could sleep in these beds. So, he burnt his photo in to mend his broken heart, huh? Also, Kayla, thank you. Yeehaw, bad dipping. I'm loving it. Hi, Seth. Hi, Seth. <laughs> I'm loving it. I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Sissy. Oh, there you are, David. They're really close. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are so many rooms I that I can't get into. So it might be in one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either. But there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Uh, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. Hee <laughs> hee, don't worry. I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy. So I like, I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Okay. So the guy left to forget a broken heart. And I should probably save because I'm not dying. I ain't about that. Okay. What? <laughs> we said the same thing. It's just what? Red writing. Was this here before? Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Oh, this guy. Why? Crap, I gotta do something. Molotov! Cocktail! What else can I do? Items, lighter. Yeah, oh yeah, now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be flammable. Let's do it. I knew. I, I called Molotov cocktail. Okay, he ran away. What the hell is that thing? Why does it keep chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one one of these around? In the kitchen, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a kitchen knife. We should probably get it, like I said we should have. But no, I don't know anything. There you go, a fruit knife. Maybe I should take it, just for self-defense. Got a knife. Oh, shit, there's blood. This wasn't here earlier. Did something happen to Sissy? Um. The door is unlocked. Sissy, what are you doing here? Well, your arm's bleeding, so it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm cut on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you get anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. 
Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I at least try to wrap it up. That doesn't look like a handkerchief, but okay, we'll go with it. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt? It's fine, thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I was wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, and all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? He left me quite a while ago. But while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. This was when I left, lost the box. I've been worrying about it ever since. But I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right. So I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I heard it hate a girl like me. Sorry. I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little busy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and... Here. I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Bye. What the hell did you give me? Somewhere key. Okay, it's somewhere. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man, just going with the flow. Do you ever have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Oh. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can talk this out, surely! Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt the same way. And we're saving that because you never freaking know. Hmm. I'm just gonna check to double check here. Okay, no. Maybe this? Oh, it was. It's her box. Someone, something's in the fountain. A box. Maybe this is the, the one Sissy lost. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Mm, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Got Sissy's box. Huh? 
did Sissy leave already? But she's wounded. Sissy! Oh, where could she be? Okay, where is she? Not gonna lie. I have no idea where she could be. Sissy! Oh god, it's the guy. Okay, let's see. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but it says it's a boss fight. No, stay away. No, stop right there. Back off, monster. David. That enthusiasm. It's great. Damn it. Sissy, get out, get out of the hotel. David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. And she take a little knife. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't let you lay a finger on Sissy. Thank you for letting me save. Shoot. How many hits do you need? Hoot. How many hits does this guy need? Did I die? I died. I don't know how to how to win. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh man. Oh, yes, okay, it did it. <laughs> I don't know how to fight monsters. David. David! Pant, pant. David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think he'll chase us anymore. But never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm not hurt. But... Sissy, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have a memory of him at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone... Somebody help. Sissy. What's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David. You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man. Especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy with my friend when my friend got married. And it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. 
It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? And I'm sure that the one you'll love will understand, and I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. Uh, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. The box, though, I didn't lock it. That's strange. The box needs a key to open, so, though, I didn't lock it. Hey, key. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key? <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the one. Where did you find it? Re really? Uh, I picked it up around here. A key from my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenant involved with the box. What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it. But I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address in on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. and start out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though. David? Well... Aww. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Aww, David, you got keys! That surprised me. <laughs> David, but she seems happier. No, that's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lindring sense of streams. Is this address where he is now? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. All right. And that was scene one. All right. I'm going to stretch because my leg is asleep and I need to stretch. So, yeah. Let's let's give it a second and um, let me stretch a little bit. Okay. The Crooked Man. Not gonna lie, you know what? I give it props. It's really good. It's actually pretty good. Man, this place was far. This took it almost an entire day. So this is the place. It looks like the school was abandoned. No one's around, though. I guess we just they be inside anyway. Let's see if I can an even enter. Let's see. Um, the men's bathroom. The women's bathroom. Oh god, this one's long. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissures in the wall behind the eastern bookshelf in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Okay. Anything else? A list of faculty. Criminal law, John Keith. Civil law, Andrew Robinson. International law, Cindy Peterson. Criminology, Franz Moore. All right. Philosophy of law, Lefty Lewis. Legal history, Ray Twain. Comparative jurisprudence, huge, I can't read. Dr. Stacy Lizzie. Contains cleaning tools. All right. Um, it's locked. Okay. 
Okay, and the nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. The nameplate reads Eugene. The trash can is overflowing. Notice about keys. Room manager for the month. Don't lose the keys. Parlor Stacy. Okay. So Stacy does the parlor. Um, there seems to be nothing else here. Hmm. Let's see. Janitor's room. Infirmary. Dead game. It is a dead game. It is a very old game. It's called The Crooked Man. It's a really good game, though. Can't go wrong with it. Hmm. Basement reference room. Storeroom. Oh, what the hell? Let's see. Was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. Mm. Lots of books. Box of tools. Got a screwdriver, a crowbar, and not- oh my god. Damn. I don't actually remember much of this area. I only remember the first area. Did I maybe quit this game before I finished it? Because the first area was really clear to me. This one isn't. Lots of books. Empty trash can. Lots of books. It's like open security box. Nothing inside. Okay. This room is kind of empty and useless. But let's keep going. I just realized it's empty. And we just saw a guy run by. How does that work? He's in there, isn't he? Yeah. He's hiding from us. Because he thinks we're scary. Reference room. It's locked. Computer room. Yeah. We only <coughs> have the key to the parlor. <coughs> Don't we have the key for the parlor? Oh, we only have the infirmary key? How would I have the infirmary key? Where I swear it, it said that we had the parlor key. Okay, I guess not. 